This is Big Papa J. I'm doing a review on my 2020 Indian Challenger. Uh, I was going to do a 10,000 kilometer review, but uh, life got in the way, busy with work and riding and family and whatnot. Uh, so I currently have about 14,000 kilometers on it. Uh, I'll review some of the parts that uh, worked and some of the parts that didn't work. Um, so far, the bike hasn't given me any trouble. If you let it sit for longer than a week or so without being plugged in, uh, the battery dies. Uh, that's the only issue um, that the bike has given me. I've had one other issue, uh, and again, it wasn't the uh, Indian's fault. It was a uh, manufacturer defect of an aftermarket part, and I'll, I'll review that right away too. Uh, but uh, again, we'll go over the bike really quick, and uh, things that I like about it, things that I don't like about it. Um, so here we go. So let's do a quick review on some of the parts that didn't work for me. Um, in the last video I had a Saddleman seat on it. I believe it was a Saddleman carbon fiber seat. I uh, had that seat on there for 3,000, 3,500 kilometers. Uh, it didn't break in. Um, Saddleman is an amazing company. I phoned them, let them know what happened. You know, I had 3,500 kilometers on it. Um, didn't work out. Uh, they said... Let's find the place where you bought it from and let's refund your money completely. Free shipping back. I uh, refunded my money. Um, amazing, amazing company. Uh, if I ever go back to Harley Davidson, I will definitely get a, be getting a saddleman seat. So after the saddleman seat, uh, I put my stock seat back on. Went for, I think it was about 4,000 kilometer trip on it. Um, it works good for the first couple hundred kilometers and after that... Uh, it breaks down and gets pretty uncomfortable so after the day actually the day i got back from my trip i had a seat waiting for me and here it is this seat is the ultimate seat sorry there's some seeds on it from my tree anyway ultimate seat uh it's heated um comes with uh backrest backrest is pretty cool uh Heated feature uh, for the driver, heated feature for the passenger, ultimate seat, um, the seat looks really good, uh, sits you high up, sits you about two, two and a half inches uh, up and sits you about two to two and a half inches back. Uh, back was good up was up was really high it felt like i was like sitting on top of my bike rather than in it um the seat didn't break down as much as i'd hope it's still really rock hard um also uh came with brackets to install the tour pack and uh just doesn't fit right uh so we contacted ultimate seats they said they would be taking it back uh which is awesome and uh since then I got a, another seat and I'll get in, get to that right away. Another part that didn't work for me was uh, the Kiryakin heel shifter for the Indian Challenger. Um, now why this didn't work for me was uh, it's a good product, it's a good design. I mean it's, uh, I believe it's some kind of aluminum. Fits underneath like so like that or something like that and comes up over here now the only problem with this is when you put your leg down you kind of hit it so a couple times I, I put my leg down and you know snapped it into gear um, lucky thing I had the brake on and it uh, stopped on me so this heel shifter from Kiryakin is a no um, I wouldn't mind trying the uh, the Indian version out uh, so that would be next on the agenda for me Another product that didn't work, and these are nasty as hell. Kiryakin Phantom Levers for the Indian Challenger. Um, this is a part that I didn't like, the manufacturer defect for Kiryakin. Uh, I believe this is the one. Great levers, they're nice and beefy. Uh, just a huge design flaw. The clutch cable fits in here, and I guess it's not recessed enough. So the clutch cable was uh, was rubbing on the inside here and ended up snapping. And lucky thing, I was about a kilometer away from home 
uh, when it snapped before I went on my, you know, three, four thousand kilometer road trip. Um, and yeah, left me stranded. Uh, I had to buy a new clutch cable and it was aftermarket clutch cable because uh, I have aftermarket bars and it was extended by, I think, about six inches. So uh, left me stranded for about a week, week and a half from riding and that uh, really sucked. I went to some parts that really worked for me. This is the Suicide Chopper um, backrest and luggage rack. Uh, amazing product, uh, inch and a half thick. Solid, solid piece. Uh, hats off to Suicide Chopper. Um, you got the Indian design right on the luggage rack. Big, huge point to it. Amazing product. Um, fits well, built well. Uh, no complaints about this thing. The reason I have it off, I'll show you right away. So like my last review, I'll do some parts uh, that I really liked. All the parts on the bike so far, uh, I do like. Unfortunately, I don't have the cams in yet. They said uh, the cams should be here November, December. Uh, but again, being up in Canada, uh, I expect snowfall by end of October, so I won't be experiencing the cams um, this year. Another Indian part is the Indian crash bar and the Indian uh, soft lowers. Uh, when I first got them, they were pretty hard to put on. Uh, I had to stretch the leather a bunch. Um, ever since they've broken in and got a little bit of weather to them, uh, they're pretty soft and they're easier to put on. Uh, great for the wind, great for cold weather riding and in, in the rain. Uh, we experienced some rain riding to uh, when we went to a uh, group ride to Buffalo Point. Uh, kept my feet dry. More Kiriakin parts, the floorboards, I believe they're Phantom. Uh, the Phantom shifter peg, uh, Kiriakin toe rest. I was gonna go with the highway bars, but uh, these toe rest seems pretty good. I can actually rest my toe on it, put my heel on it, uh, just like a highway peg. Kiriakin Phantom uh, rear passenger pegs. Um, I don't ride with a passenger. Uh, I just got them to match the front. Um, yeah. Got the Amazon rear crash bars. Uh, probably not a really good view of them. We'll go around the other side. So these were about 120 bucks from Amazon. Um, I do believe the Indian ones were 300 to 500 dollars or something like that. Uh, saw the piece, it, no modification put them on. They bolted right on. No complaints. Uh, the powder coating is a little bit more dull compared to the Indian stuff, again, no complaints. I uh, got the Suicide Choppers eight over stock, eight inches over stock bars. Um, extremely beefy unit, just like the, the backrest. Um, no complaints about these, they're solid. I did notice a little, I don't know if you can see it. They are a little bit of rust under here. There it is, a little bit of rust where the uh there was no powder coating uh i haven't told them about it yet but uh maybe i will maybe i won't people are asking me about my hand guards these are memphis shades hand guards uh they came off of my old road glide at a 2018 cvo uh road glide custom and uh took a little bit of modification again apologize for all the bugs and stuff uh so you have to drill out, oh man, you can't really see it. You have to drill out the holes a little bit, uh, hog them out, make them wider for the uh, for this stem. But they work pretty good. Again, cold weather riding, rain, keeps you dry. Got the Ciro 3D drink holder, coffee cup holder. Got the RAM mount for my phone. Works pretty good. Mounts right to the I got uh, upgraded speakers. Um, I wouldn't say a waste of money, but the money you paid uh, doesn't have the output I wish they would have had. I wish they were a bit more louder, a bit more clear. Ugh. I think they'd be about a two or three hundred dollar speaker rather than a six or seven. Still got the still rocking the Bassani two into one exhaust. Um, I really like the two into one sound. I've had a two one to one exhaust on, this will be my third one. 
on my road glide, my street glide, uh, actually my fourth one, my other road glide too. Um, two into one sounds. Uh, I'll start it up and give your give her a pop later. Okay, on to my fourth seat. I got a Mustang seat. Uh, apparently, they came out about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, I ordered mine the day they came out. Uh, I got it uh, a week after. Uh, pretty good seat. It puts you down low like the factory seat. Um, has a bit more stiffness to it. Comes with a removable removable backrest. Uh, it's very very tight. I had to actually put the seat on first and then put the tour pack on. I'll get the tour pack right away. Uh, I still have a gap here. Um, not too happy about the gap. We pushed the seat all the way to the front. Uh, it took three of us to try to figure it out. Uh, I don't know why it won't close the gap, but uh, there's a gap. I got the custom dynamic bag lights on these. Um, they look pretty cool from behind. I, unfortunately, I don't ride behind my own bike, but uh, people tell me they're pretty cool. Uh, at nighttime, I light it up, uh, start it up, and the whole back end lights up like a Christmas tree. I like to be seen. Uh, so I went with the, the bright red ones and rather than the dark smoke ones. Okay, here's a video of the exhaust, the front lights, and the rear lights. So let's uh, give, give her a listen. see the yellowing in here in the eagle headlight uh, but people tell me when they're in front of me uh, that it's quite yellow okay I see the yellow I see okay those ones are yellow yeah there's yellow those are yellow too what the heck oh look at that last but not least is my tour pack uh, I ended up buying the tour pack off of a lady on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, she was in the States. I don't know what happened to it. There was a bit of damage to it. Uh, it was a gloss black seat and the covers were actually the uh, Roadmaster Brown off a of 2014 Roadmaster. I uh, got my wife to do some covering and a friend to do the rest of it to finish it off. Uh, the stitching is a little puckered. Uh, as far as the damage, there was, uh, it was scuffed up along here and had a crack right here um but i mean overall for the price i paid for it and the price that uh to fix it it's a pretty good deal uh you can hardly tell there's a repair here so holds all my junk my full face helmet and whatnot and pretty happy with it again for the for the price I paid for it and uh, to buy a new one. I believe the new one is $4,900 Canadian. Uh, it doesn't come with the speakers. Um, so yeah, I got it painted gloss black to match the bike. I got all the chrome stuff uh, powder coated black. Uh, this chrome piece, I took it off, got painted black. This other chrome piece underneath was painted black. Um, the speakers don't work. I'm not too sure. I have to contact the Indian to find out uh, if I need a different amp or something. But uh, yeah, this is. But yeah, that is my review on the 2020 Indian Challenger. This is my bike. I call it Makwa. And my uh, North American native language is, uh, is Ojibwe. Makwa means bear. So it's pretty fitting. Uh, Makwa, black bear. So black Makwa, I guess. Excuse the bike for being filthy. I went on a ride today, got a bunch of bugs on it. And again, I wanted to get this re review out of the way. So I have the Eagle um, Eagle Light. Uh, it's pretty bright. I have to adjust it, um, the level way up. Um, 
it's extremely yellow though a lot of people i ride with say why is your lights yellow um i don't know why i really don't know why uh i since installed the pathfinder fog lights um personally i don't like the way they look uh safety wise uh they're pretty bright and again safety wise um they're top notch um let's see i got the clockworks i believe it's a nine inch windshield uh perfect product i wish i with ultimate seat um i wish i had a maybe the 11 inch but uh uh went to a different seat and it put me back down to stock height and this nine inch is perfect so again thanks for watching if uh if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section or Facebook me or message me. I could tell you all the information I know about the parts. Um, overall, I'm very pleased with the bike. Again, I, I've owned uh, Street Glides and Crossbones and Fat Boys and whatnot. Um, Road Glide is my favorite bike until I jumped on this thing. I used to say you can't beat Road Glide. Um, I still love the Road Glide, but man, this thing is unbelievable. Um, still have a Harley and this is, uh, my wife's heritage. It's an 09. Uh, she absolutely loves it. She wants me to get, get rid of the Indian, go back to a Harley. I told her, you gotta ride, you gotta ride this thing to, to know, to experience it. Uh, handling, braking, comfort, power, torque, uh, just outdoes Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson needs to pick up their game to compete um would i go back to harley uh when they pick up in their game to compete with this thing uh, this is an amazing bike the only again the only issue i had was uh the power issues with the battery uh, again if you let it sit for longer than a week it dies on you so you gotta put a tender on it uh other than that uh, amazing machine again um thanks for watching and uh any comments or questions please please ask away i'll I answer the best I can. Thanks for watching. This is Big Papa J. Peace out.